Red Rocks is all about community conservation and tourism. So we set it back in 2013 and the whole idea was to see how can community tourism and conservation be brought together for sustainable development. Most of the tourist attractions in Rwanda are all connected to the protected areas. But the idea was to see is it possible also to develop something which could be done within the local communities, not within the protected areas like the national parks and everything. I wanted to involve the local communities in what we are doing. The Red Rocks Initiative, we started it because like, we used to see children on the street, we used to see women without, you know, they, they want to work but they don't have anything to do. So we were like trying to say, how can we bring those people together and we try to teach them some things so which can help them to get something can make them busy instead of being like jobless or without doing anything. Whenever the tourists come here, they buy things direct from them. They go to the market, they buy all the stuff from them, so which means the money goes direct to them. We also have different conservation activities because Red Rocks is all about conserving the environment. We also have tree planting activities and different agricultural activities that benefit the community. When I arrived here last year, just via a mutual friend, I came to come and volunteer here and it was probably one of the most enlightening experiences that I have encountered. Programs that I was involved with is mainly upskilling, focusing on service delivery. Also, I taught the ladies a bit of English. For girls, some of them, they jump into early marriages. So if they are trained in Red Rocks to do something to change their lives, it's always better. So my name is Faustin. I am here for helping the community for to improve how they can eat at home, how they can prepare the food. We use everything from here. If the guests come, they are, we show them what we can get from the village and then we cook for them from the food in a very fresh one. What makes Rwanda so unique and so special? It's definitely the people. Besides the people, also the beautiful landscape. But for me, I would definitely say the warmth of the communities and just how welcoming and open they are. Our plan is also to expand. We don't want to stay in one place. We want to take it to the south, east, and also make sure that we expand these kind of programs that we are already doing here. Thank you.